This is Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app on your smart speaker and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at 10 o'clock. This is Tom Harrigan. The Royal College of Nursing has accused the government of disrespect after a meeting with the Health Secretary Steve Barclay ended tonight without any progress in their pay dispute. A strike by nurses is due to go ahead on Thursday in England, Wales and Northern Ireland. The leader of the union, Pat Cullen, said Mr Barclay had nothing to offer. I arrived um, today optimistic, thinking that the Secretary of State had something new to put on the table for our nurses. Well, true to government's word, um, there's absolutely nothing. Uh, I needed to go into this room with the Secretary of State today and come out with something to offer our nurses to avert the strike happening on Thursday, and we haven't come out with one single brown penny. The Department of Health says Mr Barclay reiterated the government had agreed to a pay offer recommended by an independent wage review. Workers who belong to the RMT union have voted to reject the latest pay offer made by rail bosses. The union's general Secretary has accused the government of refusing to lift a finger to help prevent strike action, but the rail minister, Hugh Merriman, said his door was still open. The man accused of making the bomb that destroyed a passenger plane over the Scottish town of Lockerbie in 1988 will not face the death penalty when he goes on trial. Abu Ajayla Massoud has made his first appearance in court in Washington after US officials secured his removal from Libya. 270 people were killed in the attack. Three boys aged 8, 10 and 11 have died after falling into a freezing lake in the West Midlands yesterday. Another six-year-old boy is still critically ill following the incident in Solihull. The Assistant Chief Fire Officer of Cumbria Fire and Rescue, Rick Ogden, has urged parents to tell their children about the risks. There is no safe or effective way to do anything on ice. The messaging has to be really, really clear. Just take five minutes to talk to your children and ensure that they don't go on the ice. We were out today and there were were shopping trolleys on the ice where clearly kids have been you know racing around with the shopping trolleys that messaging is the most important thing officials at the european parliament say democracy is under attack amid allegations of a major corruption scandal qatar has denied claims that it gave meps cash to influence their public comments the president of the european commission is ursula von der leyen it is a question of confidence of people into our institutions and um, this confidence and trust into our institutions needs higher standards and of independence and integrity. And you're right, I propose the creation of an independent ethics body that covers all EU institutions. The Irish dark comedy The Banshees of Inner Sheeran has received eight nominations for next year's Golden Globes, including Best Film, Tom Cruise's Top Gun Maverick, Daniel Craig's Glass Onion and the sci-fi comedy drama Everything Everywhere All at Once are also up for statuettes. And the weather, far north of the UK, seeing a band of cloud moving south tonight. Cloudy and largely dry for Wales and most of England. BBC News, it's three minutes past ten. Thank you very much and thanks to Keris. Excellent show. <laughs> It's Trevor Nelson's Magnificent Seven. It's so cool to do a blue show, isn't it? Sounded great. Uh, Welcome to the Rhythm Nation. How are you, everybody? Shovels back in the garage. Yeah, I've been shoveling snow for an hour this morning. But I had enough time to put my playlist together, especially the seven coming up. The Magnificent Seven on BBC Radio 2. 